Hello again and welcome to the Tottenham Hotspur FIFA 14 PS4 career mode. Today we have an FA Cup battle at Wembley Stadium. As we're at the semi-final now, the home away advantage disadvantage has disappeared. As we see, Man City will be moving on to the final having beaten Wigan 4-0. Crystal Palace coming on in a 4-2-3-1, not dissimilar to our standard formation with Cameron Jerome as their lone striker. Spurs today coming out in a 4-3-3 and we see some subs coming in here as Gomes is in at goalkeeper replacing Loris today to give him a bit of a break. Landon Donovan also coming in starting at left wing jump ahead to the 19th minute here as Crystal Palace looks to waste no time but good save from Spurs keeper goes we see another chance there from Tottenham they failed to capitalize Paulinho now in the 27th minute he dribbles into the box puts one in across the net passed out of the reach of the goalkeeper and it's 1-0 Tottenham Paulinho very excited here as he puts in what may be his first goal of this FA Cup of this FA Cup for himself and Tottenham as we take a quick look at the replay here and see what what a delivery there what a delivery by Paulinho My mistake, that is Molino's second goal. So Spurs have jumped out to a quick 1-0 lead. Not five minutes later, Emmanuel Adebayor with a good opportunity, but he misses the net. Crystal Palace, though, on the counter, and they flip one past the goalkeeper. Oh my goodness, and it's one all, and this one looks to be an absolute cracker of a match. Is that Cameron Jero? I think it was. I'll, I'll, I'll cut out the accent, but just a good uh, good flip there. He actually just lobs it over the keeper and the defender who tries to get in there. The defender might have actually gotten in the way of the keeper here, yeah. Eunice Capul and the keeper looked to collide it with one another, so it's one all on a very good lob, lob shot there from Cameron Jero. And he hopes to keep Crystal Palace's FA Cup dreams alive here. 38th minute off the corner kick here, headed in by Vlad Trichis. Trichis, I've got to look up how to pronounce his name, but a terrific header here to put Tottenham back in the lead, and the crowd is going wild. They're excited. Looks like Eric Lamella with the left foot here on that corner. Sends it in. What a terrific, terrific. We don't score a lot of goals off corners, and so it's nice to see that uh, every now and then we can do something a little different here. We don't necessarily have to cut into the box to, uh, to, get, our, to get our goal. So that's going to be his first goal of the FA Cup for Vlad. And it's 2-1 Spurs. Now, just towards the end of the first half here, uh, there's an injury to Chamek, Mohamed uh, Chamek, I, to be honest, I'm not actually sure, I know I've seen him this season, and he's taken out of the game, but unfortunately it gets worse for Crystal Palace, as Manuel Adebayor gets a great through ball there, and he makes no mistake as he puts that one in the back of the net. Spurs go up 3-1 just before the end of the first half, and that's a, that's a tough one for the to digest there was Crystal Palace being down by one goal going into halftime isn't too bad but that that's that's a difficult one in what looked to be stoppage time might have had, yeah we might have been in stoppage time at this point when Adebayor right foots that one into the back left corner here of the net and Spurs are going to be Spurs and their fans are going to be quite happy as we go into as we go into halftime up with a two goal lead Emmanuel Adebayor gets his School of the FA Cup. He's had a tough, he's had a tough season this year. Not, has not had a great run of form, and you know, he's really.
really tried to uh, he's really tried to improve here, but it's good to see him get an opportunity. Landon Donovan happy with his performance so far as he walks off the pitch to get a little water break, take a little rest, and get ready to get started again. We we head into the 72nd minute here, a corner kick for Crystal Palace as they take another kick in the can, and it is grabbed by the keeper. Final minute of play, Crystal Palace tries to take one last shot, maybe to get another goal, and they can't seem to do it as the Spurs defense ends up just collapsing in front of them, and there's just nothing there. Spurs will move on to the final to face Man City. Vlad is our man of the match, getting an 8.6 rating and putting in that, that go-ahead goal there off the corner kick. Eric Lamella having a terrific game, getting two assists, and Landon Donovan coming in on the left wing. I think that might have been his first time playing that position this season for Spurs, and he gets an assist as well. Of note here, though, 53% possession for us today, so that's that's a nice improvement here, and uh, something I'd like to see us carry forward into our next few matches, particularly our FA Cup ones. So, that's the end of the episode. It'll be a FA Cup final match between Man City and Tottenham. Looking forward to that one. I will see you guys in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this, please feel free to give me a, a like or subscribe. These will keep coming up for the next uh, few months. So I look forward to it. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.